so let me introduce myself. I'm a Ruby committer. Uh, I'm the current R documenter, and I'm a member of Ruby core team. Uh, my name is Itoyanagi. And a member of AskSRB, AskSRB is held every Ch Ruby Tuesday. And I'm working at Space Pirates. <coughs> uh, and our business is we still money via bank from venture companies that commission software development to us. <laughs> and this company is funded by my friend two years ago. Only five, on, uh, five employees. <coughs> but it, my company supported me as a semi-full-time OSS engineer as a Ruby committer. And my hobby is climbing. Usually, I go to climbing area before an international conference. But this time, I couldn't go to climbing before Ruby Conf. Uh, because I went to uh, Matsue, where Mats is living, to attend the Ruby World Conference as a speaker. And I told about adventure in Ruby World Conference. Adventure is to go somewhere that nobody ha uh, hasn't know the world. Nobody understands the value. Nobody know how can we go there. <coughs> and everyone is living in well-known comfort zone. Uh, for example, city side and, and others. But adventure is not. Only one week later, after the presentation of the Ruby World Conference, I came here. So I couldn't climb around Nashville. But I found a good place to climb near here. It's Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> this is a world map. I'm from Japan. And it's Nashville, so far from Japan. Puerto Rico is almost there. <laughs> and I'll try to climb unknown and unexplored area of a jungle of Puerto Rico. Uh, I heard there are so many uh, alligators. <laughs> the word unknown is important for adventure. <clears throat> I think that adventure means going into the unknown. Today, I talk, I'll talk about my adventure in Ruby. I'm the current maintainer of RDoc, which is a standard documentation tool of Ruby. And I'm trying to improve IRB with documentation. <coughs> the brand new IRB has multi line editing that is powered by Reline. Uh, this uh, multi line editing is uh, so uh, I try to explain. The multi line editing feature of IRB was advocated by Keiju san, who is the author of the ori uh, original IRB, and the cage sign is uh, good for the of Ruby. It's a great vision, but it's too hard to implement because the original IRB is implemented by GNU Readline. Do you know GNU Readline? Mm -hmm. Okay. GNU Readline has over 30 years of historical background too long. So Reline needs to be compatible with so many features of GNU Readline. Uh, so <coughs> there, is, there are three sections. Uh, first, the history of the terminal. Uh, there, there are so many uh, things of history. The mouse code and the typewriter and the teletype and the escape sequence and 
a skeptic and some Unix like OSs and the Windows support. When do you when do you think the terminal's historical background started? Uh, Thirty years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sixty years ago. Mm -hmm. And one hundred twenty years ago. <laughs> and two hundred forty years ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, most communication techni technologies are invented by market of new businesses. <laughs> Japanese people, con uh, Japanese people, continues to eat rice over ten thousand years, maybe, maybe ten thousand years. <gasps> it's our soul. All the Japanese kings treat rice stockpiles as assets. Back then, rice is a practical currency in Japan. About 200 years ago, merchant of those days was in trouble. Rice market has a difference between east side and west side in Japan. So they needed the soonest communication technology. This one. Do you understand? It's just smoke, <laughs> okay? So this one, okay? This one, this one, <laughs> okay? Do you understand? It's a kind of bit encoded data. Yes, yes, information, data, yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, Merchant could send, uh, could send rice market information within two hours over 500 kilometers. In the same way, telegraph is invented by William Cook and uh, Charles uh, Whitson. <coughs> it sends code from type of primitive case via railway track as a line to a printing system. This is a telegraph, uh, early times telegraph. It's just experimental, so it has only several keys, only several keys. Uh, several key means this uh, bottom, uh, maybe 12, 12 white small keys. It's not enough to type alphabet, so shift key is added. It's a shift key in early times. It was uh, 1833. After that, Samuel Morse, uh, who, uh, who is famous Morse code, uh, invents telegraph on Morse code. The system is just Morse code, so can receive generated code from a typed key or hand inputted code Da, 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 da. and can output to out printing system or writing characters via ear. Uh, it means uh, less listening and writing. The system continues to be improved. It's called teletype. Royal Earl House invented brand new teletype and it's used for money transfer. It was 1855. A few years later, the Western Union Company is funded. But the typing system and the printing system is not convenient. Human beings know more convenient typing and printing system. It's typewriter. But typewriter needs operation of a roll paper. Okay, roll paper. Typewriter print characters to the same point, but move a roll paper. The protocol that apps to here doesn't contain operation of a roll paper. Uh, so, Print characters to the same point means uh, uh, Q, W, E, R, T, Y, like, like this. So 
this is uh, the operations of roll paper. Move left, move right, and roll a paper. It means uh, move to next line and move to head of line. These operations are added to the protocol. Protocol uh, means uh, the type uh, and the telegraph. Uh, this is uh, our, the operations of a typewriter as uh, uh, roll paper, move left, move left, move right, roll a paper, uh, and move the head of line. It changes for the protocol. Move cursor left, move cursor right, line feed, and carriage return. These are control calls. Original control calls. <laughs> the reason of those two operations are separated is those needed to many times to finish uh, line feed and carriage return. Aside, line break character code is carriage return and line feed on Windows, carriage return on Mac OS, and <coughs> line feed on Unix like OSIS. The difference is based on early times operation set of printing systems for each OS. Now, as some operations are added to the protocol. It's a base of modern terminal. It was 90, uh, 1901. The early terminal was that separated the keyboard and the printing system from typewriter. The printing system is the best of, best of line printer. And some terminals need extended features. So a new character, following characters are not printable, just control code is added to the protocol. It means uh, these are called escape key and escape sequence. But many companies develop new terminal machines. They specify non-compatible escape sequences each other. It's a flood of terminals. Users are confused hardly. So suddenly. Uh, in these times, a new technology comes. It's, as you know, computer. <laughs> oh, do you know computer? <laughs> T-type terminals and line printers come to be connected to computers. Eventually, line printers are replaced with visual monitors. This is. Um, a picture of a movie, a you know, disc set, uh, what is sponsored by IBM. This uh, paper is line printer uh, for computer. Many escape synchases for terminals are different, so computers support them by hardware because software is still Im immature. Dozens of years later, primitive software come to be OSs. Nix comes up. Users, use, uh, user space on OS changes settings of software. Nix like OSs changes the situation of escape sequences. Incompatible. Term cap, what is encapsulated software for incompatible escape sequences, named each escape sequence, and has a dictionary from named real escape sequence. It's a revolution. Users can use any terminals for own computer. It's developed at 1978. And term info. What is improved time cap is developed at 1982. 
Uh, this is from Wikipedia. Anshi shikens were introduced in the 1970s to replace vendor-specific sequences and become widespread in the computer equipment market by the early 1980s. Especially, SGAR parameters is famous to set character decoration. This one. Maybe, maybe you know it. This uh, backslash e, uh, 31M, this is uh, escape sequence. This is a very subtle history of terminals. But Windows introduced another way. Windows has console API for control of terminal as known as command prompt. Console API of Windows controls a console via console handle. Escape sequences need using I.O. to control console. Console API of Windows is smarter API for console. It's very practical, very great. And it means console API is, new, is a newcomer of terminal's subtle history. It's complex insanely. Humans are stupid uh, because uh, I should support uh, um, Unix insane, uh, too long historical background and newcomer Windows console API. I asked a question at the start of, start of this section. When do you think the terminal's historical background started? Our answer is unclear. What is terminal? What is a protocol? What is encoded data? Maybe, maybe this is a terminal. Uh, this this uh, Japanese king, Japanese king is terminal, and uh, the this smoke is a kind of protocol, and the smoke is a kind of encoded data. Maybe fire's smoke is the earliest long distance communication technology. And second one, GNU Ruby compatible features. <coughs> Ruby needs GNU Ruby as a native library. GNU Ruby is a powerful line editor for taking user input. This is an example. Uh, shows this shows the prompt and reads the inputted line with line editing by user. Line editing is move cursor, delete characters, and use history and others. And this is an example of small IRB, small IRB. Uh, read user input by read line and evaluate the inputted code. GNU Readline is used by Shell, TC Shell, Bash, and others, uh, and MySQL command line tool, and GNU Debugger, and others, blah, blah, blah. Ruby standard library Readline is used by IRB, Pry, and SOAR. Uh, SOAR is a famous simple framework for command line utilities. And, uh, there are only three tools, but there are so many uh, tools that, uh, that are using Readline standard library. The Readline library is very important for Ruby, but Readline can be used only when GNU Readline is installed before Ruby builds. This is uh, Ubuntu. GNU Linux case. In Ubuntu GNU Linux, uh, SU do after install lib readline hyphen dev. After that, you should uh, RBM install 2.6.5. If you forget to install lib readline hyphen dev first, uh, Ruby doesn't have readline library. So, for example, uh, Prefers to launch when 
Ruby doesn't have a read line library. It must be a trap to beginners, so I decided to uh, re-implement read line library by pure Ruby, it's read line. Ruby 2.7 uses GNU read line by default, and uses read line inside if doesn't have GNU read line. Read line has three layers, keyboard input and line editing and build string as a default encoding of the environment. First, keyboard input. <coughs> read line uses select system call in Unix like OSIS and KB hit and get um, wide character in Windows console API to take keyboard input. And line edit, scan, line editing. I plotted Emacs bindings and BI bindings from GNU read line for line editing. Third, build string by default encoding of the environment. Finally, I implemented building strings as a default encoding of the environment. <coughs> I get up from work, I did it, but it's so tired and uh, line editing, second, second step, but the implementation is broken in non-unicode encoding, so I re-implement whole line editing code and uh, first, first step, keyboard input. Unicode characters are broken at the time of the first input. I fixed it. And the second step, uh, line editing. Con uh, combining Unicode characters are sometimes broken in line editing. <coughs> and the third step, build string by default encoding of the environment. I fixed the whole implementation of the layer due to lower layer. Uh, all tests failed, so I remake all tests. <laughs> I worked out over two years, but I'm still fixing source code and tests. I consult Ruby core team about the implementation problems and almost finished. Uh, but recent two years, I always say almost finished. I always say. <coughs> and it will be adopted at Ruby 2.7. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe. No problem. Next month, next month. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid. It's, it's a kind of nightmare. <coughs> but there is still some work to be done. It's red line. The original author of IRB, Keiji-san, he's developing new IRB, it's Railby. Railby uses an original line editor, red line inside. Redline is a multi-line editor, like JavaScript console in browser. But the implementation is too hard, so I added Redline mode to Redline. It's just for Ruby, but Ruby 2.7's IRB contains the Redline mode as a transition period. And this is third section, uh, internal, international I18 and support. <coughs> there are so many character encodings in the world, especially CJK, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and others. Have some complex characters and history, more than, for example, more than 10,000 kanji characters and kana, hangul, and others. But it's very confused for non-CJK people. So I'll try explain by emojis specifications. Okay? Do you know emoji? We always use the word character primitively. But it's very difficult thing. It's important to understand the differ difference between code point and grapheme in Unicode but it confuses you. Some code points are invisible because they're just combining character for base character. 
For example, this is a uh, telephone emoji is changed with following invisible variation selector if you use a font that has a variation. Uh, for example, the variation is uh, a texture fashion or emoji fashion. This is an example. First, first one is just a texture telephone emoji. Second one is uh, uh, telephone emoji with a uh, texture fashion. It, mm, it's the same emoji in this case. But third one, uh, telephone emoji with emoji fashion. Okay? The three emojis are the same telephone emoji, but sometimes changes. And some combining characters has a glue code point. For example, zero width joiner to join different characters. For example, I, I emoji, is composed of, uh, uh, this is, I in speech bubble. I in speech bubble emoji is composed of I and uh, left speech bubble emoji with a glue code point, uh, zero width joiner. This is an example. First, uh, first is a texture I emoji. Second one is left speech bubble emoji. Third one, emoji fashion. Emoji fashion is not printable. And I emoji plus emoji fashion, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful eye, <laughs> okay? <coughs> and left speech bubble with emoji fashion, it's, uh, Blue. M maybe uh, emoji means blue in this case. <laughs> and uh, this glue, this variable blue mean this this is a zero with this joiner. So I plus emoji fashion plus zero with this joiner with uh, plus left speech bubble plus emoji fashion is this uh, emoji. <laughs> I forget the name, but, but the emoji, okay? Besides, national flags are constructed by alphabets, okay? This is an example. Uh, flag for United States is composed of regional indicator symbol letter U and S without joiner. Uh, I show demonstration. This is a U, okay? I copied and paste. And I copy S just after U, it, it changes a flag. <laughs> I did this last year. <coughs> Unicode has contains human's confused history. So the code point is a unit that should be coded. And the graphene is a unit that human beings understand as a character, okay? For example, this United States flag is two code points and one graphene. And U is one code point and one graphene. And S, one code point and one graphene. And US, this is two characters by ASCII, two code points and two graphemes. And this is zero with this joiner. Uh, this is one code point and one grapheme because this, this one, uh, third one, it's not printable. It's not printable, so, ah, no, no, no. Uh, Okay, okay. And this uh, strange emoji is five code points. I and the emoji fashion and zero with the joiner and the left speech bubble and the emoji fashion. Five code points and one graphene, okay? <coughs> and in Ruby, string chars method returns code points and the strings 
string grapheme clusters method returns graphemes. Uh, okay, this is an example. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I have no confidence. <laughs> if Ryan remove only one code point from one graphem that is constructed by plural code points, the editor breaks easily. <coughs> it's an outline of technical background um, of interactive CLI of Ruby. The brand new IRB will be adapted at Ruby 2.7. And I'll release the brand new IRB before Ruby 2.7. After that, you can install and use a brand new IRB. When will I release the brand new IRB? Right now. Okay? Please wait. Please wait. Right, right. Uh, first I'll release Reline for, first. So, so uh, uh, new version. Uh, as a Ruby commenter said, you you will mistake in the session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like, please, M maybe okay. Uh, 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 uh. Like, ah, like, uh. uh, uh. <laughs> please wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Like, please. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, maybe I. I should input uh, one time password, so sorry, please wait. <laughs> okay, uh, push the reline 0 0.0.6 to rubygems.org, and next one is brand new IRB, sorry. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. I'll commit first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. uh. okay, I'll input uh, one time password. <laughs> okay, pushed IRB one point one point zero two Rubyjam dot out. No problem. Uh, remaining four minutes. Yes, 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 yes. And install the brand new IRB right now. <laughs> and uh, I'll, dem uh, I'll show demonstration of the brand new IRB, OK? Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I have enough time to. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, uh -huh. so install IRB. Yes, 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 and IR, IRB, okay, uh, this is this is warning, the version of IRB is drastically different from the uh, previous version, if you fit any issue, you can use IRB legacy uh, to run the old version, if you want to just erase this message, please use margin hyphen hyphen margin IRB hyphen hyphen margin and, okay, uh, for example, def, uh, foo, and and uh, uh, this is bug. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll release new version later. <laughs> <laughs> and so buggy. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is ah. Uh, wait. Uh, sorry. Oh. 
Uh, so, uh, uh, this is developing version. Oh, okay, I'll release later. <laughs> Again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, install the brand new IRB right now, but, but, but f f please install later. <laughs> And please find some issues if you find bugs. But I found bug one. <laughs> uh, Ruby slash IRB or Ruby slash Reline. Take it easy. It's a great contribution for us. Uh, so I'm sorry and thank you. <laughs> uh, so tired. <laughs>